There are 50,000 care home workers in Scotland. If they were being routinely tested every week, there would be a minimum of 7,000 tests a day. Yet yesterday, the total number of tests done for all of Scotland was fewer than 5,000. And the day before that, it was fewer than 3,000. It doesn't add up. First Minister, why are care homes being failed again? Surely by now, mobile testing teams or GPs should have visited every care home in Scotland. First Minister, is your government not letting care homes down all over again? First Minister. Uh, no, um, is uh, my immediate answer to that. I would also uh, say to Jackson Carlow that the evidence, and I, sh I should say as a preface to this comment, that I don't consider any death in a care home or anywhere else to be acceptable or any level of death to be acceptable, each and every one of them is a matter of deep regret. Uh, but we do see now care home deaths, while of course still too high, uh, declining quite rapidly. And we also see from the peak, certainly through to uh, the middle part of May, that care home deaths have been declining slightly faster than deaths in hospitals. So I say that because uh, that suggests that the package of measures we are taking uh, in care homes and to protect care home residents is having an effect. Now, on testing, testing is important. That is why we have uh, extended uh, the, the numbers and the groups of people that we are testing. The programme of care home uh, worker testing is underway and will continue um, and then will be routine and regular and the Health Secretary will set out, uh, if it's helpful to the Chamber, more details of the programme of that and as I said a moment ago, we will set out the data from that uh, when that is available. It is of course understandable uh, that we look at the overall number uh, for tests but I think it is also important to uh, remind people that the dynamics underneath that headline number are also important because we have different uh, strands of testing uh, through routine testing and surveillance testing, we would expect those to increase with time. But the uh, on-demand testing for people with symptoms, we will want to see reduce and may uh, already be reducing because the prevalence of the virus in the community is reducing. So we have to understand and we will continue to try uh, to publish data that gets to the granularity of that as well as headline figures. So we will continue to take forward these various programmes of work to make sure that as we suppress this virus um, and as we come slowly and carefully out of lockdown, testing is doing the job in that variety of ways that we require it to do.